Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do the first installment for the tutorials on how to use different sewing machine fit. I got mine from a kit that I got from Amazon. I will leave the link to the video down below, but you can buy them all individually. And also, depending on what you want to do, uh, you don't necessarily need a specialty foot to do that thing that you want to do. Um, very often, your machine will be fitted with the right stitch and you can still wing it with a regular foot. But having a specialty foot might make things a tiny bit easier, I guess. So uh, today we are going to start with the blind hem stitch with the blind hem whoop, foot, which looks like this. This white part here is actually a gauge, so you can move it in and out on the sides. You can also buy these on an um, individual basis. You do not need to buy them as part of a, a kit if you don't want to or if there is only particular attachment that you would like. So let's get started. So I have here some fabric to hem, just something very simple, it's white cotton. And as you can see, I've already made a fake hem. And I made it a bit fat just to show you. So the idea, the idea is to have something that will look invisible on the right side. What you can do is sew it by hand, uh, which is totally acceptable, which I'm not a big fan, <laughs> to be honest, because I'm lazy. Uh, so doing it with the machine is much, much better. So I'm going to turn over to the machine and show you how I do mine. So first, for the stitch, we will need this stitch here. That's for woven, and this one here is going to be for stretch so let's see more in detail that little that very little stitch here on the left side it's going to be what's going to be on the right side of the fabric all of this is going to be within the hem and it's going to attach it to the main body in terms of the length and the width of your of your stitch you're going to need to play around with your settings until you're happy with it and same with your tension. So now let's take a closer look on our foot. So that's how it's going to look like. This is where we're going to attach it to the machine. Uh, most machines will accept this kind of foot and there is the little uh, guide made out of plastic. So that is going to move on the side and you're going to see why in a little while. So first we're going to remove our foot, release the clamp and we're going to clamp this one instead. I have already selected the right uh, stitch, which I showed you earlier on, and that is ready to go. So that will depend on what size we want. Okay, so now for the fabric. So for you to visualize a bit more, or a bit better, I've marked the wrong side of the fabric. Of course it's white, so you can't really see it properly, but that's where I've put my double helm fold, and here on top here that's the top of the fabric the right side of the fabric so what we need to do is fold it that way so you can put some pins if you want to but you're going to have let's have a look that's going to be the inside of the hem that is going to be flushed against the wrong side of your fabric and that's going to be your wrong side of the fabric so when we turn it again it goes like this. So you turn it to expose the top of the fold on the hem. So what's going to happen with the stitch is that it's going to, the bulk of the stitch is going to go in here, which is the hem, it's the inside of the hem. And then once in a while, it's going to have a little dip to catch a bit of fabric, keep on going, a dip, catch some fabric and keep on going. And that's exactly what it's going to be doing. So now what I'm going to do is place this in here and this here is a little guide so this is going to be against that fold the bulk of the stitch is going to be on here and then a little stitch is going to be in and what I'm going to do is play around with my needle and I'm going to put it here I'm leaving my stitch length of about two and I'm playing so I'm going to then try and all I need to do is keep this flushed against this little fold. Oh. 
So after that I can play around with how, how wide I want my stitch. And as long as I keep the bulk of my stitch in here and then a small stitch in here. So now what we have is all of this stitch. So as you can see the bulk of my stitch is in here. And now what we can do, open it up. So as you can see it sketched it. So you just need to pull it. Obviously because I have a different color thread it's going to show. But all you need to do is then loose, getting it a tiny bit looser. So after that you just need to give it a little press. You're going to have just a little stitch here, which is completely normal. Uh, obviously you would use the same color as your fabric to make it truly invisible. And on the wrong side of the fabric, that's how it looks like. So you can't see it on inside, simply because when you fold it again, that's where your stitch is. So I find that it works much better on heavier fabric. I did a pair of curtains and it worked like a, sh a charm. But you can easily do it on um, lighter woven fabric. This is very very light so obviously it's showing all the wrinkles and everything. And something a bit heavier, uh, it's much nicer. But that's it for how to use a blind hem stitch and foot. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!